Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, HTTP Satellite class. Uh, this HTTP Satellite supports only hypertext transfer protocol. So it is protocol dependent. And uh, HTTP Satellite class extends uh, generic Satellite class and implements uh, serializable interface. And uh, this HTTP Satellite class uh, provides uh, HTTP specific methods like uh, do get, uh, do post, uh, do head, do delete, do trace, uh, etc. Okay, and uh, uh, HTTP Servlet class provides implementation of uh, service method. Okay, so whenever a request comes to service method, uh, it will uh, dispatch to the corresponding uh, do xx methods. Okay, so the service method will check whether the request uh, is get request or post request or head request. So based on the request type. Uh, it will dispatch to the corresponding uh, do access method okay suppose say if uh, request uh, type is get then it will call the do get method suppose say if uh, request type is post then it will call the do post method okay and uh, so you can see method summary here these are the methods uh, supported by http uh, servlet okay also uh, it extends uh, generic servlet so the methods available in uh, uh, generic servlet also uh, accessible uh, via HTTP servlet class. Okay, so you can see destroy, get init parameter, get init parameter names. So all those methods are available in HTTP servlet class. Uh, now we will see the sample implementation of HTTP servlet. Uh, so this is a project HTTP servlet project. So inside that uh, source folder is there. And in that I have uh, put hello HTTP server dot Java. Uh, so I am opening uh, hello HTTP server dot Java. So hello HTTP server uh, class extends uh, HTTP server uh, uh, abstract class and uh, provide implementation of uh, init method, do get method, and uh, destroy method. So init method, what I am uh, doing is I am just uh, printing init method has been called and uh, server is initialized and uh, do get method. I'm just printing uh, do get method has been called and uh, in the print writer I am writing hello HTTP servlet so that it will uh, display in the browser and uh, destroy method I'm just printing uh, destroy method has been called and the servlet is uh, destroyed okay uh, I will uh, deploy this uh, uh, web application file export select the var file Next, I'm browsing and uh, placing in uh, Tomcat uh, web apps folder and click on finish. Then I am starting the server and the server has been uh, started. I am accessing the application uh, using this uh, URL and clicking on enter, it will uh, display the index.html uh, content. Okay. I will open index.html. So this is the uh, index.html uh, content, and uh, this content is uh, displayed here. Okay, so it has some link. So when I click this link, uh, it will append hello HTTP servlet, and it sends uh, request to the uh, web server. Okay, so in this case, uh, Tomcat uh, server. So the server will. Uh, forward to the servlet container then the servlet container will uh, check this url pattern hello http servlet is there in the web.xml so i will open web.xml so you can see that url pattern is there okay so using this uh, it will identify corresponding uh, servlet class okay so here you can see servlet name so corresponding uh, servlet name is here in this uh, uh, servlet uh, tag right so it will identify corresponding servlet class then it will uh, load this uh, hello http servlet class and uh, it will uh, instantiate uh, that uh, particular servlet class then the servlet container will call the uh, init method of the particular uh, instance so it will call this init method and then it will call the uh, service method so in HTTP servlet, uh, we no need to override service method, right? Because uh, already HTTP servlet uh, uh, provides implementation of uh, service method. 
uh, that will uh, dispatch uh, the request to the corresponding uh, do method right so if uh, get means uh, it will uh, dispatch to corresponding uh, do get method okay so automatically it will call uh, do get method then uh, it will just display this content in the browser okay so we can see uh, the output in the console now so you can see init method has been called and server is initialized so once server is initialized it called uh, uh, do get method okay so this do get method is called by the service method internally okay and uh, browser also it displayed uh, hello http servlet which is uh, there okay and uh, this destroy method will be called when uh, servlet servlet is uh, taken out of uh, service okay so i'll shut down the server and you can see destroy method will be called by the servlet container so you can see here okay so this is about uh, http servlet and thanks for watching bye